Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing this Duel of the Roses Redux mod 2 playthrough. Um, we're gonna start off by trying to get that last green cap though, because uh, might as well get every absolutely broken card we can. Uh, we're not playing insects at least, but we're definitely playing something broken. Uh... That's a great start. Um, let's see if this is a trap. It's not. Okay. Joey does like to start with traps, it seems, so... Um, part of me wants to just crash in, because... There's a non-zero chance that one of those two is a trap, but oh well. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, good. It was in defense, perfect. I mean, my creature was on tune and goes into water, so it was actually good for me rare that running into a green cap was actually good for me. Oh wow. Actually got a good fusion. Hmm? Sir. Okay. That makes sense. Makes a lot more sense than... Oh, it's a red eyes black metal. Um... I'm not going to have... the ability to deal with that for a couple turns. I really need to find some Curse Breakers and some Magical Neutralizing Force Fields. Um, this gets right over that, so just go ahead and get over it with this. So we've gotten rid of one green cap and one paralyzing potion so far. I wish him luck in getting over that uh, roaring ocean snake. But we're just going to get rid of it. It's paralyzed forever, and I can't really deal with that with my deck, so it's just gonna go away. Um, we'll go ahead and attack the defense position thing. Four flame swordsmen. What a very bad card that Joey has, unfortunately, for him. Uh, we'll just flip this here. It's a 2700. Like, I'll be honest, that's pretty good. Go ahead and flip over a star boy here too. Oh well, okay. That's okay. Black metal has some real big problems with uh water fields, so and goodbye, time wizard. So far, this has gone well. Um, we're gonna have to get rid of the Star Boy, probably. Sir, could you stop with the. Okay. That's why. That's two tears of the mermaid gone. Uh, 
Um, we'll just pass. You know? If he kills it, he kills it. Okay. Judge Man's fine. I take a little damage. It's pretty fine. Uh, Furious Sea King can get right over it, so it's fine. Um, I can move Starboy back and summon on top of it now, so I can just get rid of it. Um, we'll just move this up two spaces and um, get rid of some more field. We're just making everything water at this point. Um, that could easily be a green kappa. Let's do it this way then. It is. Cool, that's the second green kappa gone. Okay, there's the third Tears of the Mermaid. Okay, opponent is running out of stuff that's annoying, so that's good. Two hundred's pretty big, I guess. Oh, there goes his third metal morph that probably isn't ever gonna matter. Just flip this over here. Um, give us basically as much sea terrain as we possibly could ever get. Oh my, that's pretty big. Okay. Goodbye. Um, I do have to back up because otherwise I kill him. Second, here be. Sorry, something was happening outside. Okay, we'll just move around to make him go back in that corner um, and play out a sewage in to be another really big beat stick to deal with his cards. Okay, that's the second Sword Stalker. I should be able to move here um, without him. Moving somewhere I don't want him to. Uh, with how much we're actually investing into the Aqua, um, I'm going to need Spring of Rebirth instead of High Tides, although I don't know where to get them, so... Awkward. Just throw down a High Tide over here.
I like that he's going through his deck like two cards at a time. It's really nice. Um, yeah. I need to watch out for the third green kappa, I guess. Because he's only played two... Although it shouldn't be too hard to beat, so. Okay, there's a third sword soccer before it became too big for me to deal with. That's great. Honestly, sword stalker's not the and all be all creature unless you're um, doing a whole lot of fusions. Um, if you do a whole bunch of fusions and then use it at the end of a duel, it's usually really big, but short of that, it's usually not that big of a problem. You know, I can just kill it with this. Okay, it's another time wizard, it's fine. If it was a, um, that was the right play if that was a green kappa. But, um, he's playing mostly light warriors. But he's also playing Dark Warrior, so I don't understand his deck that well, I guess. He also has dragons in it. Red Eyes, um, he has Metal Morph. Um, what else? Time Wizard, Baby Dragons. And paralyzing potions, of course. Um, I'm not playing around any, like, brain control or anything. So, I just hope he doesn't have it. I doubt there's one in Joey's deck, but you never really know. Um, he's also playing... Earth Warriors with Empress Judge, so he's just kind of got a smattering of different attribute warriors, I guess. I and of course Flame Swordsmans. <clears throat> which are pretty much by far the like just terrible. It's like one of the worst cards in this game. Maybe uh, it got its stats increased. I doubt it, but did it? Nope. None of those cards did. Yeah, he doesn't have any cards that have increased stats, I don't believe. He didn't have any warrior that he could play Legendary Sword on? Interesting. That's a Sword of Dark Destruction. Uh, he doesn't have Sword of Dark Destruction. That has a Swamp Battle Guard anyways. I was gonna say, if it was a Sword of Dark Destruction, that would have probably been a green kappa. He should have one green kappa left. Is this it? Nope. It's a Giltia. He does have one green kappa left, right? Um, one. I mean, I don't know if he actually plays three. There's two. Yeah, he probably has one left. 
I mean, he would have just played it. So, because you can always play Green Kappa. So maybe he doesn't. Maybe he only has two. That would make him slightly easier to deal with. Um, but he also has like a million flip effects. Uh, Swamp Battle Guards, like Time Wizards, uh, Lava Battle Guard. Ah, uh, yeah. Green Kappas. Just all of the cards that just absolutely the AI cannot deal with. Okay, so um, I'm just going to get myself... Um, my last uh, Maiden of the Aqua here real quick, and then... And in doing so, I will have finished my... Um, I'll be able to get more experience on it. Um, also, I need to remind myself after this to take out the fake trap. So, I'll be right back um, in 55 turns, so fear be. Oh, I didn't unpause that. Or... Whoops. Um, I don't know if I... I might have messed up and didn't show this. Um, I thought I'd unpaused and then started talking, and then I thought I paused again. So let me go through this again just to make sure. Um, two green kappas, three red eyes black dragons, three metal morphs. Two Paralyzing Potions, um, I think three Kunai with Chains, three Flame Swordsmans, three Time Wizards, three Judgemans, or at least a Judgeman, a couple Swamp Battle Guards, a couple Baby Dragons, a uh, Triple Sword Stalker, I think, at least two, um, Guilty of the Dark Knights times three, um, yeah, three Sword Stalkers. Um, three Time Wizards, a bunch of Equips, and yeah, that's about it. Um, I wanted to just point out that after Mako, after Mai, after, you know, Tristan, um, there was a bit of a power curve that was going on. And then, uh, Joey happened, and he's just so far below the power curve. Hey, we got a green kappa. That's all I cared about. Um, just an equip is the best thing I could get. It would have been nice if I had slot arrows. Shame those weren't added. Um, but yeah, I feel like Joey is very underpowered. Um, except for the fact that he has two green kappas. 
Um, but I think I feel like he should have like three or four cards on the power level of Green Kappa that are three ofs compared to the people that he's been that were before him. Um, Amoeba has not been useful, so it's going away. Uh, let's see here. Um, I want to reincarnate something relatively low deck cost this time, like an Aqua Chorus, and I'll see what's down here. So, BRB. Um, honestly, there was some pretty good stuff down here at the low level. Um, I really wanted a Curse Breaker uh, to put in my deck. Uh, it's better than these darkness approaches, and I can also get rid of this fake trap that I keep forgetting about. Um, and I got a Mismeric Control, which is really good too. Um, but yeah, uh, there was actually some good stuff down there. Um, Swordsman from a Foreign Land came up, Curse Breaker, you know, the good low level stuff. Dancing Elf was easy to get from Reincarnation, so. Probably if I were reincarnating. It depends what I was looking for, um, but... And Dancing Elf's probably actually available in the slots after you um, get it that way, so... That's kind of nice. So, we finally um, have categorized all of the stuff that's in Joey's deck. Um, Mai has Monster Reborns. Um, and they're available in the slots. I don't know where you get the Heavy Storms that um, Tristan has. Um, I don't know about Shadi's deck. I'm kind of scared about it until I get some Soul of the Peers. Which, honestly, at some point I need to go farm Taya for those. Um, Soul of the Pure is, like, one of the best, if not the best, um, heal cards in the game. So if I could go get two or three of those... We'd be good. Oh, that's an Exodia deck. Oh, yeah. This man for sure has an Exodia deck. Oh, no, he doesn't. He has Cosmo Queen. Oh, my. Oh, don't do it. Sir, is this really what they put in this guy's deck? <sighs> I mean, his deck has got to be loaded to the gills with the expensive stuff, so... Um, we're just gonna... discard some stuff. I'm gonna send Sewage in to the right. Um, I do need to be careful. He probably has three copies of Just Desserts in his deck. And the will to use them, so... Ew, what a terrible, terrible refresh of my hand. I don't want to use that much summoning power. I don't want to play many more cards, like, ugh burn decks. Annoying. Oh no. I'm guessing nasty traps and burn cards. And some probably pretty powerful We're just gonna make sewage and bang it, and then we're gonna copy it with Green Kappa. And hope that's enough to kill.
Uh, we'll just try to keep the sewage in within my deck leader range so that it can get the extra 400 points. Please don't draw triple tremendous fire in your top 20 cards, please. Well, there's the Just Desserts! We might be going and dealing with uh, Taya sooner rather than later. <sighs> what did I just run over? Oh, Magic Jammer. We'll just get rid of this curse breaker. He should attack me. He draws just desserts or tremendous fire I lose, so. Ooh, that's a powerful dark magician. Unfortunate for him. Um, I can't, uh, do this without, um, playing cards, and I already have more than a Just Desserts will kill me, so I can go pretty all out at this point. And probably be okay. Okay, swords, swords is fine. I was kind of expecting the swords, so... So, there's only one card that, if it's a trap, stops me here? From lethaling him. Okay, we're gonna go, um, go over to Taya. Um, uh, but I think I'll save that for the next episode. Ugh, burn decks are awful. Um, I just like one of each card if I can. Okay, so... That's two people so far that have just slung tremendous fires at my face. And I don't like it. Um, this guy has 1,600 deck cost. I mean, this was 1,759. <sighs> okay. So, next time, we're gonna go beat up Taya until she gives me, like, three copies of some healing. So, that's our, that's our plan. So, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.